So many golfers of all levels get this single fundamental in golf wrong. And in this video, I'm going to show you where the ball position needs to be and how to stand at every club in the bag. And I'm going to do it now. Hi guys, my name's James Robinson, PJ Professional, and welcome back to this YouTube channel. Guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to stand at a wedge, at a mid iron, at a long iron, at a fairway wood, and at a driver with reasonable success, and hopefully, towards the end of this video, you can improve your ball striking and have a much better idea on where the ball needs to be for every single club. So we're gonna start with a pitching wedge. And guys, every explanation that I give you in this video is for a nice mid ball flight. I'm not trying to hit the ball too high. I'm not trying to punch it down. I'm just trying to hit it nice and normal with a good strike and to stand at a pitching wedge i want your feet just shy of shoulder width so just a tiny bit narrower if you do go too wide with a short club it can make you that little bit too stiff to generate the club edge speed you want to hit your desired distance even with a wedge that's why we try not to stand too wide in the feet with mid to short irons now i want a little bit of hip flex so you feel like your bum moves backwards out of the way and then a tiny bit of knee flex so that you're in a nice athletic position and you feel like you could just spring off the ground if you wanted to. Now, a lot of you might think this is simple. A lot of people might be thinking, well, I know all this. You would be amazed how many people I've given lessons over the years who get this wrong, even down to single figure handicap. So guys, if you take one tiny bit of information from this video and it helps your game and it helps you lower your scores, then get in the comments below and let me know exactly which piece was it and let's see if everyone is taking little pieces of information from this video. Also, while you're here, smash that subscribe button and leave us a like if you feel like this video is helping. Now, ball position with a pitching wedge is quite an interesting topic. I see a lot of people who like to have the ball in the middle of the stance with the handle ever so slightly forward. You can see that's creating a forward shaft lean. A lot of people like to have it right at the back of the stance. I feel like that generates too much of a digging action. I feel like you can get a little bit too steep on the ball and you're not gonna get the ball up in the air like you want it to. If you have the ball too far forward, what you'll see there, that's almost in a driver position. And I have seen people try and play like this, but generally that can lead to misstruck shots, thin shots, and even the occasional top shot, which we all absolutely hate. So that's how you stand at a pitching wedge. It's nice and simple ball in the middle of your stance, feet just shy of shoulder width apart, just that tiny bit narrower than shoulder width, a little bit of flex at the hips and a little bit of bend at the knees puts you in the perfect position to strike that pitching wedge just like you want to. There's nothing more frustrating than hitting a great drive down the middle of the fairway and messing up a short pitching wedge approach shot. The key there is to remain athletic through the swing. The last thing you want to do is be very stiff and not have an athletic movement into the ball. Ball in the middle, handle forward, and then you can get that weight transfer straight back and straight through, and you can hit a nice high towering pitching wedge. Moving to the middle irons, in this case, the six iron, I'm gonna stand a tiny bit wider. That's because the shaft length is a bit longer, so the lever system's longer, so the club's gonna be generating a little bit more speed. And because we're generating more speed through that shaft, we need a stabler stance. So I'm gonna stand a little bit wider. The ball position is gonna sneak ever so slightly forward of centre. You can see if I put a centre mark down, with that shaft, that ball's a couple of inches in front of there. That allows me to get a little bit shallower into the ball. It allows me to present a little bit more dynamic loft onto the ball and get that six iron towering up in the air, just like hopefully we do want. Remember, this is a mid-flight trajectory we are aiming for. I'm not trying to punch it down. I'm not trying to send it way up into the air. You'll feel that you are stood a little bit further away than the pitching wedge, because obviously the six iron has a longer shaft than a pitching wedge. Ideally, you just want to get yourself in that posture we spoke of earlier. So nice and athletic. The feet, remember, are a little bit wider. We want a little bit of flex in the hips and a little bit of bounciness in the knees. From there, let your arms hang down. This is where the arms want to be for a mid iron. And we're gonna do the same with the long iron in a minute and then see where the club sits. And that's gonna be your ball position. Not everyone will have the same ball position for an iron shot because it depends how long your arms are depends how short your legs are. If you're like me, with quite short legs, as Chris likes to call me, vertically challenged, you might be stood a little bit closer to the ball. And if you have long legs and if you have long arms, you might be stood a little bit further away. And you can see, apart from the ball position and the stance being a little bit wider, not much has changed here. And that's good. That allows me to have a nice consistent movement on the way back. And my sternum is gonna remain fairly central and at impact, it's gonna be just in front of the ball. Remember that when we start talking about the driver in a second, because it's key to getting a nice struck iron shot. Why don't I do that every time myself? 
Now, long irons can be quite difficult. So much so, a lot of people now will be using a hybrid, so it's gonna be a very, very similar setup with a hybrid to this four iron, depending on the shaft length. This four iron shaft length is a couple of inches longer than the six iron that we've just used. So I'm gonna stand a couple of inches further away again, and I'm gonna get in a nice athletic posture, little bit of flex at the hips, little bit of bend at the knees, and let my arms hang down. As soon as I get hold of that grip, I can see there that that's exactly where the ball position needs to be in relation to how far away from me. And we're gonna sneak the ball another couple of inches further forward than the six iron, because again, we want to get plenty of dynamic loft on this shot at impact. With it being an iron shot, I still want the sternum to be left of the target here at impact, and I still want the handle to be leaning forward as well. You can see that nice forward shaft lean here. That's helping me get the desired strike of ball then turf. And that should generally allow me to get a nice strike on this long iron and get it out there. 200, oh yes, please. You see, it's so easy to just think, I know all this, this is beginner's stuff, it's so simple, but actually I'm kind of surprising myself here with some of the shots that I'm hitting because I'm going back to basics. I'm a PJ professional and I still get some of this wrong. So if you're a mid handicap, a low handicap, and you're thinking this isn't for me, let me know if you take one tip from this video, what is it? Smash that subscribe button, right, fairway woods. Now, fairway woods are always quite interesting because often, they're not hit from the fairway. I've got a three wood here. I'm gonna play this just inside my left big toe. Again, so I can take the club away nice and low to the ground. I can deliver the club nice and low to the ground, a shallow angle of attack, if you will. I can present that loft to the ball and hopefully get that ball up in the air. Now, the big thing here, the difference between a fairway wood and a long iron, obviously the shaft on the fairway wood is considerably longer. I'm not actually trying to hit this into the ground. With an iron, I'm trying to get ball, then turf contact. With a fairway wood, I'm just trying to sweep it off that surface. Generally, I'm gonna be playing this from a good lie. I'm never really gonna hit this from the rough or anywhere that I need to hit down on it. So my sternum is gonna stay relatively central. That's my chest bone. But when I say that, I still want to transfer that weight. I still want the weight to go back and then through. And you can see there, that's a nice high tower in three wood even if I pulled it a little bit. Four left. So guys, before we move on to drive, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you're finding it helpful. I hope you find it entertaining. Big dog. Where do I set up for big dog? Where's the ball position? How do I stand at it? How do I hit driver longer and straighter? And where's ball position meant to be for driver? So for me, I want the ball position to be on my left big toe. I feel like that allows me to load up into the backswing, keep that chest bone again in the middle, but my weight's still going left. That allows me to get the driver low in front of the ball and actually hit the ball on the way up. I'm almost hitting the ball in the through swing, which a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think you still need to hit down on a driver, but to hit a nice high bombing low spin drive, we actually need to hit the drive on the way up. So you can see I'm still transferring my weight onto my left side. You can see I'm still rotating my hips here. It just happens to be that my sternum stays relatively neutral. I'm rotating around that chest bone, even through impact. It doesn't move too much, even though I'm rotating. And again, to get in that stance, I'm gonna stand nice and tall. I'm gonna tilt from the hips. I'm gonna flex the knees a little bit, put the driver down and see where it sits in my hands. And again, the key here to hitting long straight drives is to remain athletic, is to be moving your weight at all times through the swing. That's how you create long drives. That's how you create straight drives and keeping control of that club head. And hopefully that's how you hit the best drives of your life after watching this video. Bullet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that has helped you with your ball position and how to address a golf ball. If it has, smash that subscribe button below. Leave us a like. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.